So in the third quarter, the main driver, small cap, uh, the small cap market as a whole, uh, the way we saw, there were there were three really key themes. Um, the first the first two are interrelated and relates to growth. So the areas of highest growth in the marketplace or perceived uh, areas of market growth, such as biotech and and software, those are areas that did incredibly well during the quarter because they are growing fast and they were discounted as such. In addition, uh, the mergers and acquisitions that took place during the qu the quarter and this year so far continue to help that area. The, the third area where we saw good performance in the third quarter was as it relates to a lot of areas that are perceived to be safe in the marketplace, whether it be real estate, whether it be some parts of utilities that continue to perform well as they have all year. In the third quarter, uh, the what helped us in terms of performance was financials. Financials was our, our biggest contributor, uh, namely banks and other types of lenders. Uh, these are areas that we have been investing for quite some time. We continue to find price to value gaps in a wide range of, uh, of industries and sectors. Uh, and But where we're finding the most, where our concentration remains, has not changed. Uh, technology, financials, and consumer discretionary is where we've been finding more than the average and then that's where we remain overweight. In the case of biotech, we have had, uh, we have been underweight that area for quite some time. We continuously look and from time to time do find opportunities, uh, but we have been underweight and that hurt us. Uh, in terms of volatility returning to the market in general and specifically to small caps, uh, certainly we've seen pockets of that. Uh, it, the, the way we look at it, it, it creates opportunities for us. The way we see it from, from here on to the end of the year and in the, in the near term, what we see is average returns. When we look over the long term, we're much more excited about that. Uh, as I said, we continue to find opportunities in a wide range of, uh, of industries and sectors. And what we're excited about, what we, what we see the big opportunities for us is we're seeing situations where the market continuously over discounts near term issues or concerns or, or something that becomes overly discounted in the price of the stock. By taking a long term view and by understanding what the risk if those issues uh, remain, uh, we've been able to find opportunities that we are very excited about in the long term. So uh, we continue to uh, own those uh, and we'll own more if there are issues uh, that get overly discounted. So our outlook for the long term is very positive both for the small cap market as well as for our strategy and we've, we think we are very well positioned.